Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. The title of this video is not clickbait. I do want to discuss if ring planners are, you know, relevant in 2023, but I thought I would also give you a little update as to what I'm using as a planner. Um, so before we get into like the nitty gritty, I do want to chat about, you know, that topic, but um, I am using a ring planner right now. So I guess I'm kind of biased because I think they're still relevant, but in terms of like the greater discourse of planners in like the stationary community, maybe they're not as popular, but um, I'm using the plotter uh, A5 size um, ring organizer in Pueblo leather. So it has tiny like little scratches in it. You can kind of see like they have like this really cool texture. Mine is patinaing beautifully. And this is the A5 size and um, this brand plotter, which is um, part of like the the bigger company of design fill, which is um, the same company. Um, that is part of Traveler's Notebook and whatnot. They um, created this um, ring system that has tiny, tiny rings. And I use this as my um, my planner for, as you can see, my monthly planning, my work uh, weekly planning, my regular weekly planning, and projects. Um, and yeah, this has been working very, very, very well. But in terms of... You know myself as a stationary fiend um i like to move and change things around a lot and sometimes that means changing my planner mid-year i know it's kind of like a little toxic because honestly things are going well i just get a little bit bored and i like having you know variety and you know trying things out so i am moving into a smaller ring organizer size for my planner I am moving from A5 to the smaller Bible size or the personal size. This is called Bible size in the plotter system, but um, Bible size just translates to personal size in terms of like the North American labeling in terms of planner sizes, in terms of ring organizers. But I'm going to set this up with um, some inserts and I'm just going to chat about ring organizers. So I personally think ring organizers for me are still, you know, relevant in 2023, but I think it has a different audience now because when I was starting out in terms of planning, I actually didn't start with a ring organizer. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna preface this by saying all of the inserts that I'm using today are from the Plotter brand, which is the same brand as the ring organizer, and none of this is sponsored. Um, I also um, am using some of the 20, no, the fifth anniversary edition inserts um so that's just a heads up some of this stuff might not be um available for purchase now so i'll um make sure to mention what i'm using here and there while we're chatting but i think for the most part um ring organizers are still very much a part of you know the greater um discourse in terms of planners i think it's just hard because there's so many cool things um, that are available to us in terms of planning and a lot of people started with ring ring planners in the beginning with filofax and whatnot i missed that hype when i was starting out in like my stationary journey i started out with a traveler's notebook as my main um as my main I guess um system and so i never got to dive deep into Oh, let's use this blank paper too. I never got to dive deep into the actual like specifics of um, of this world of ring organizers. And so for some people, this is like, oh, rings like it kind of induces a little bit of PTSD almost because people are like, ah, I can't believe, you know, people are using ring organizers again. Um, but for a lot of people like me who kind of bypassed that um, and, you know, started using Traveler's Notebook and Hobonichi, um, this is still a fun territory to be in, at least for me. Um, but I think in 2023, I think in terms of like um, the ability to choose your planner system, we have so much variety. And I think, you know, with that comes... Um, 
a little bit of some well some healthy competition for sure because there is a lot of new planner systems out there we have the common planner that debuted this year which is a bound book system like it's just a regular notebook system when i say bound book i really just mean it's like a notebook that is bound together so it's one book examples of that are like hobonichi or um the common planner the stalogies so some people also use stalogy which is something i've never tried as well um i've used the hobonichi cousin and a hobonichi a6 before and or the hobonichi techo the original and i um i actually really liked it um but again i i end up going back to traveler's notebook or trying new systems and so I don't know about you guys, but I don't think, um, other than Traveler's Notebook, I've never been consistently in a certain type of planner um, for an extended period of time. It's just, I think because I am in this hobby, it's just too fun to like move around and try different things. But I know not everyone feels that way all the time. Should I just put all of this in? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we will. Um, we're going to jazz this up with... Um, inserts right now i'm just using uh the potter monthly um inserts and the weekly inserts and i'm just putting in this current week i'm just gonna fit this all in um but yeah like i said earlier there is definitely um a lot of choice that is available to us right now and so it's not as compelling i would say to um I think fall into a ring system because like um, many other systems, everything has its own pros and cons. But I think the pros with a ring system in 2023 is that you can swap and change things as you wish. You're not liking your weekly layout. Go print off one from a like a printable website or purchase a, like a printable and find a layout that works for you. You can try a different things out you can buy pre-printed inserts like this or you can print your own um you can diy them you can even bullet journal in this if you just want dotted grid paper you can bullet journal in this obviously cons rings are a physical thing that are in the way when you are writing i mean if you're right-handed writing on the right page is a breeze but when you're on the left page you know it's there's a little bit of discomfort the nice thing about plotter is that these are tiny rings and so i have never really had any problem with these actually i could just write over top um and it's fine it's kind of like when i don't know i i know some people still use spiral rolling little spiral ring notebooks that's actually really hard to say um i use some too but um using these um rings these smaller 11 millimeter rings just reminds me of using like a spiral bound notebook which is not too um I think intrusive for me so let me just um show you i had a monthly section here which is great really empty because i use apple calendar um i kind of import stuff into this then i have my work weekly i can't really show you but it's just a plotter proprietary brand and then i have my um my my personal planner which looks like this um I really like these Peanuts Planner Co. inserts, which has the weekly plus memo, but I just print it so the weekly is on the right hand side and the memo is on the left hand side. And I keep track of um, a, a various things here, but sometimes like longer to do's. R lately, I've been, you can tell when I'm falling out of love or feeling bored with the system, I just don't write in it as much. I just put the essentials in. Sometimes I forget to write stuff down too, which is really bad because that's the purpose of having a planner but you can see it's more bare but when i was using this at the beginning of the year or even just during this time like it was a little bit more full but that's what happens when you know i'm kind of like meh with a system i still really love this and i'm still gonna use this i just hate that i have that kind of like itch to try something new um but i think uh the pros again of using a ring organizer organizer is that you just have um a lot of flexibility um in terms of um the the inserts you use and um what goes inside your your planner you can really customize it and if you want like a bigger ring organizer system that really fits a lot more because i like plotter because it keeps me 
um, minimal and, you know, has everything that I truly just need, nothing in excess. Um, but you can also buy, you know, these traditional looking ring organizers. This is one of my favorite, more traditional ones from Ateliers Valais. This one's so stunning. This actually has my tarot sticker collection and I just used to have like, um, when I was doing like daily tarot pulls and stuff and doing research about stuff related to tarot, I was doing it in here, but yeah, there's so much more room in here. I think this is like triple the amount of what you can fit in here, which is nice. Um, but yeah, it's super customizable, but I think one of the cons is that it could also easily be quite expensive because you're buying all these different accessories, right? Like for example, this is, let's just pretend this is a Hobonichi Techo. This actually has, this is my diary, but this holds um, a Sumkin notebook. It's the universal grid notebook. I don't know if they're still making this, but um, I really enjoyed, um, you know, using this system. And if this was a Hobonichi Techo, this would have your weekly memo. So your weekly pages, your daily pages, and also your monthly spreads, as well as other, you know, extras and lists and blank paper that you could ever need um, in one bound system. That's all in one book. Whereas this one, you kind of need to like purchase different things for it. Like right now we don't have any dividers. And so, um, I bought these dividers from plotter. Um, I think we're going to use four of them. One, hmm, I think there's five here. Let's just use, um, maybe we won't go in order. I just want to use these, these colors. Actually, I like, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that order. Um, and you know, you have to buy all these little things that, you know, are not too expensive, but it adds up, right? Like it, it's not just like a one time purchase, like a bound notebook and a cover and you're done. This one's like, Hey, what if I, you know, if you do decide to change things up, you are going to come across these little costs that add up. But again, these are the fifth anniversary um paper letterpress dividers i love anything letterpress i think if you have been around here for a while you know i love letterpress it's just the act of printing um an image or text on paper using metal dyes so it creates like this like raised effect um and debossed effect and it feels really cool it's just i don't know it feels really not old timey but it just harkens back to uh, a different time, right? You know what, I'm gonna, in my last bit, I think I'm gonna do um, some blank paper. Um, actually, I want to use, because um, I want to mimic the same thing with my monthly and then my weekly and then some blank paper for projects, but I think I'm gonna actually use a project manager manager tool this is just a cool um oh, this is actually really cool um this is a really cool system um that plotter has where it's kind of like just a folder basically but you can keep all of your notes or something related to one task or a project in this folder and there's a gantt tracker if you know how to use a gantt tracker here you can track things here and they have the cool to-do list um, here where it has um, kind of a status bar from zero to 100% and you can actually color in or check in each box or each quarter until you finish the whole um, task and then you can check mark there. But I like this if you're tracking, you know, big picture items or if you um, have larger um, larger projects. I, I think, I don't think I've shown you what it looks like in my regular planner, but I really like this because um, Job's journal <laughs> is a pretty big thing in my life. Um, even though I don't post, um, well, I post weekly on YouTube. I was just away for a while, um, but there's, you know, many moving parts because I also have a Patreon that's related to Job's journal and a YouTube and Twitch and Instagram. And, you know, I like to pretend that I'm a, I'm a little media company. I'm not, I, uh, but you know, 
it's kind of like a mini media company if you think about it because you're running you know social media and whatnot um so i like to keep all of my planning and notes in here for each month um and patreon stuff in here and then i have other project managers for different things in here and it just keeps everything nice and um I guess not compact, but it keeps it together. And if there's confidential information, it just keeps it like kind of kind of locked up. Um, obviously, it's not like super secure, but um, it's nice that it's just in like a little system there. So there's that. Um, and I think one of the other things that put people off from plan, uh, ring organizers is just Again, the physicality of this system, like the rings are just, you know, another thing that you need to be mindful of. I know when people buy ring organizers, you have to check if the rings close properly. So there's a whole like mechanical aspect, physical aspect that you need to be mindful of. Like you need to check if, you know, when you purchase a ring organizer, like this is my Filofax mini, if all of these rings are fine. You're looking for um, if the rings are good quality. Um, do they open and close all right? Like there's a lot of other variables that go into it. Whereas when you're buying a bound book, you're just hoping that the book is fine. And most of the time, be like 99.9%, .9 it usually is. Um, and yeah, I think it's there's definitely a lot more factors that go into a ring organizer. But um, you are trading in you know, maybe a little bit more cost and, you know, having to be mindful of more moving parts, like actually figuratively and literally speaking, moving parts like the rings, there's just more moving parts to it. Like, you know, your inserts and, um, you know, all the things that you need to buy, but you're trading that all in for an extremely um, customized system that's truly like made for you. Like, I think you can't, really can't say that you can't come up with the perfect um, system in your ring organizer because um, you really can just like print out um, all of your things or, you know, hunt for the perfect insert. It really um, is up to you. So I guess if you just want um, a system that's just like ready, done and good to go, you have it already with the bound book, but with a ring planner you really have to love the hobby i feel like because you need to hunt for all these things i just put in this little um what is this this is a bookmark that i made it's just some dried um baby's breath that i laminated and punched and i think i am missing some pizzazz i know i made these a while back maybe we'll put these in some of the dividers but this is just vellum with a design that i made on photoshop which I really like. And then this is just from some packaging that I have that I cut down to size and then hole punch. It's just like a little like acetate sheet almost. Um, and this is again, another photo. It's funny cause that's not even a ring organizer. That's a traveler's notebook, but I just wanted a little like stationary moment here. It says to writing, to journaling and to all those who seek solace in the blank page. I thought that was cute. So we'll put that in, but I'll put this, um, uh sheet or bookmark i know you're supposed to put it up this way but i actually like having my bookmarks at the bottom here so uh, i'm gonna put my place marker like that and i think this might be i know we already have like these dividers um with these uh really cute dividers from plotter but i think it might be fun to pizzazz this up with some layering yeah i think we're gonna do that because the vellum is see-through right or trans parent translucent it's translucent because there's a little bit of tint but you can still see the letterpress design and i think it looks really cool like that um that looks good maybe we'll do the other one in the weekly um does that look nice or maybe maybe right before this one. i think no i think it looks better with this one actually right before the weekly Again, you can like decorate it, but those are kind of like my main thoughts with ring organizers. Are they still relevant in 2023? I think so. But I think for many other people, it's harder to give, you know, that 
answer that, you know, yeah, go ahead and get a ring organizer just because there's so many amazing other options. But if you are, you know, wanting to try something new, I would try a ring system. Just be warned that it is definitely um, something that you can fall into very quickly. And, you know, please don't blame me if you get super obsessed because that's what happened to me. I started with these mini five ring organizers and then I, first of all, never thought I would be in rings. Um, and here I am using this as my main planner system um, in 2023. So who would have thought? Hey, this looks fine. But I just realizing I could put a lifter. So that's just the closure here. You can choose to have a closure or not with the plotter system. But I just don't want to put one because it's going to cover the lovely debossing, which says creativity takes courage. Plotters who shape the future. Fifth anniversary limited edition. Draw today. Shape tomorrow. Cheers to plotter. Oh, it's cheers to plotter. Plotters who shape the future. The feature. <laughs> Again, this has um, a very luxe detail. The plotter no, ring organizers, they have a metal spine that attaches to the ring system inside. And they use Krauss rings. Very, very sleek. There's no pockets. It's really thin. It's really just like a essentials kind of planner. And I like that. I think the one thing I do need... We're going no band, but I do need a pen holder. So I think I have one in here. We just gotta look for it. Do I see? Oh, yeah, I see a pen holder. Um, and I like to put this usually in the back, sometimes in the middle. Actually, maybe we'll do it right in the middle, in between. Um, yeah, we'll do it in between the weekly and the monthly. And I'm going to use, uh, hmm, this is, I never really put a fountain pen in here just because I'm scared. <laughs> Let's just put this sleek, um, this is, a uh, Sarasa Grand. So it's the heavier metal body of the Sarasa Grands. This is the brown, which I really like. It's like a brown black ink. Uh, ooh, that fits really nicely. Oh, very, very chic. Okay, so we have our monthly, current month, and then weekly here. Cool. And I think I was using two A5 full spreads, but I wasn't fully using it. So I think I'm going to be fine with having work. I usually... Um was hoping to actually at the beginning of the year use this as my main planner until i fell in love with this but i actually had my i had two sets of weekly spreads one for personal one for work because i just hate intermixing everything but i think for the purposes of this experiment i'm gonna do work on the left side personal on this side and i am gonna i think i'm gonna use this for supplemental notes the other nice thing about the plotter system is that they also um use the narrow size inserts and the narrow size inserts are oh huh, where are they let me just grab them they are a little bit again narrower and so i've seen people actually Maybe I'll just keep this um, as a possibility, like in the back or something. Oh, there's only a few. Maybe I'll just keep this in the back. So uh, maybe if I really needed to and I needed more space, I can just put this in the middle of the week. And this is kind of like a floating. It's perfect because you can still see the date on the side. Um, oh, I flipped it too much, but you have extra room. So it's kind of like a Dutch door style thing where you have, you know, more room here. So maybe I can do my work um, events and tasks here and then personal events and running tasks there, which actually is a really good thing that I've never thought about. Or I can use this. This is the um, five millimeter grid memo pad. So it's just a tiny, tiny one that has three holes and you can keep it in any of these three holes. 
and it acts as, a, again, a little, like, floating reminder thing. So maybe I can do, like, pressing, you know, tasks that need to be done or long-term tasks that need to be done. I can put it there. I'll just leave this in here, but I think um, one of the things that I'm going to think about, I know that this video is kind of like a setup and also thoughts about, you know, ring organizers, but I think even though we have this kind of final setup for this already, I think I'm going to DIY something um, in the coming weeks that can cr um, function as a bookmark but is a little bit smaller because I do like this smaller type of bookmark um, and I want it to be somewhere here. So that's in the to-do list in terms of projects and then I'm going to bring this um, with me in my... Um, in my uh, pencil case in case I need extras, either this or this, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think we have our setup. If you want, you know, a final summary, I'm just gonna say it. I think ring organizers are still relevant in 2023, but like I said, there are many different options right now. And so it feels like, you know, ring organizers are not the first, you know, instinct um, in terms of a lot of people's uh, first instinct. In terms of buying a you know planner that is a ring organizer let me just rephrase that. that made no sense this is not people's first instincts i think now in 2023 maybe back in like 20 2013 2014 it totally was but right now there are so many cool systems like traveler's notebook and hobonichi and the common planner and you know the wonderland there's so many other notebooks is it wonderland 555 or 222 something like that the there's so many i can list all these amazing cool new notebooks that are popping up each day but i think um for many people uh the ring system is still alive and kicking and it's something that i feel like a lot of planner and journal and um, stationary enthusiasts should try at least once in their little stationary journeys because it is such a um, big part of this planning community i think in general and so it would be um, kind of a waste to just write it off just because, you know, you don't like the physical large rings in the way of your um, writing and journaling. There are many different alternatives like Plotter, which provide, you know, smaller rings that kind of decrease that feeling. And also you can also just open up the rings and take a sheet out. <laughs> just easy as that. But I think those are my final thoughts. What do you think? Do you think, uh, you know, Traveler's Notebooks and Hobonichi's and other notebook systems are the way to go? Or do you think, you know, ring organizers and ring systems still have their own charm in this current um, landscape, uh, planner landscape in 2023? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, that is it, folks. I will see you in the next one. Take care. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.